Hello, Jake Offs. Today, we're going to be watching a video of me showing you guys how to find fishing spots on Google Maps, or Google Earth, actually. Um, this is how I first started finding fishing spots when uh, I was going out by myself a lot and didn't know anyone, didn't know anything at all, basically, and uh, worked pretty well some of the time. A lot of times I got skunked because I didn't know what to actually look for in spots, so. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys that are just starting out. So first things first, you gotta download Google Earth. So go to Google Earth download, Earth versions, and then Google Earth Pro on desktop. You go down here, click download Earth Pro on desktop, and I'll get you Google Earth. Now that you got Google Earth downloaded, go ahead and find your lake. We're going to do Bartlett Lake, because that's my home lake, and the one I know the best. Zoom in on this. Let's say we wanted to fish somewhere down here by the dam, because we all know that's where the bus-sized 100-pound flatheads live, is by the dam. So, scanning over this, this little island looks pretty interesting. It's got some pretty big-looking boulders on it. Usually I would assume anything up near the shore is probably continuing somewhat down towards the bottom. So this is where I find the history tool, which is key to all of this video in general. This history tool tells you everything. So this is a May 2020 picture, which looks awful. I'm assuming a satellite was having a bad day or did too many drugs that day or something. So anyway, we'll go back to the next one. This is August of 2019. So if we want to know what the depth is like right now compared to this image, the next step would be to go to the daily watershed report, which depending on where you live, I don't know if you have access to a tool like this, but uh, us here in Arizona got a pretty cool tool for the, the Bartlett Lakes and the whole Salt Chain Lakes. Um, to figure out what depth lakes always add every day and can even go back in history and look at you know four-year-old water levels so let's go to that all right so go on Google and I just search Bartlett lake level which I've searched a million times so it comes up right there and uh, looks like I spelt it wrong too very regularly so right now Bartlett Lake is at 90% full uh, current elevation is 1797.03. The remaining elevation is basically one foot. So 1798 would be full. Um, we're about one foot below full right now. Now, going back to Google Earth, you can see right here on this date, it says August of 2019. So, we want to want to figure out what the depth is in this picture right here. So right here on the daily watershed report or water report, there's a date option. So I can go to August 2019 right here. We'll assume it's sometime in the middle of the month, like the 14th. And I can assume that the water level in that picture is close to 8 feet down from 100% or 7 feet down from current. So, we go back to that picture. And I'm going to assume all these little tiny boulders around the edges that are just barely showing are in 5 to 7 feet of water. So this spot might actually be really good in the summer, summer application. I bet you there's a ton of bluegills and baits laid up in these rocks and the flatheads come up and feed on them. Uh, might be worth a try one day. Um, and then you could look even further down, like say you wanted to fish down to like 15 feet. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just know that that's close to the right depth. 
and you know somewhere right around in here is probably 10 15 feet ish so there's a pretty good amount of little tiny rocks and boulders all the way down this backside has some huge boulders off this point um, those might start getting a little deep down in here we can check that again here this is 8 of 2018 so let's go check that so 8 of 2018 go back a year and assume middle of the month again the lake was actually 45 feet down back then so there's 45 feet of water showing in that picture all right so now that i know that that's a pretty steep drop knowing this is edge is about 45 feet down maybe so give or take some maybe the water is dropping really fast and it was early in the month or late in the month but uh I know for sure these boulders are probably in about a pretty good depth and these ones down here are probably fairly deep around this edge so maybe not quite as good of a spot in summer as I was thinking um, it still might be worth looking at when you get to the lake just to check it out see how it is um, and then a lot of times when I'm just looking for a spot really fast I'll drop the I'll drop the history button down to where the lake level is really low like this and I'll just scan along the shore to see spots like spots like this that have multiple points coming off of it in one line I really like because it gives you lots of options to drop baits at so this spot wouldn't be probably wouldn't be very good for summer but in a winter application you could if the water was still higher you could anchor up somewhere up in here start dropping baits off in these points and there's some pretty big boulders in there too you might have to watch out for shallow you know you might be able to fish some of these big these little small rock formations up in here all right now for finding shore spots um, this is the infamous Bartlett Lake flats which are currently underwater but uh, in the winter these are usually exposed good enough to where you can drive your way up here and find spots to fish um, once it starts to cool down, I, I feel like fish start to transition into deeper water for the most part and run up and down through the river channel. So when I look at these maps and I see these little rocky 45 degree angle looking things that drop off fairly fast, I assume the river channel is close to that side where these little drop offs are. Looks like it runs along this side most of the way until probably about right here then it probably starts to cut across because that looks like a big, pretty big rocky shelf there so knowing that the river channel is running along this side I'd look at a spot like this anywhere you can back your truck in or if this water is you know closer to the edge and you don't have to hike eight feet down to get to the water surface anywhere along here would be good for shore fishing in, in cooler water because the fish are going to be transitioning and running right through this river channel so flathead should be running up and down through this river channel right here um, spots like this look like they might even be better because the river channel looks like it's still here but this spot's a little bit more flat unless this is a cliff and I just can't tell by by the picture you can use this history button again you know to go back and forth and see if you can find a spot where the water is way low get way more view of the uh, the river channel but I don't think it's gonna go that low just because that's fairly deep right there off that drop off my well, these pictures get real good when you go farther back that's about as low of a picture as you can get so yeah anywhere in this area I feel like would be pretty good because you know this river channel is right here fish are going to be running right through here um, we've caught when I first started fishing we caught tons of 40s uh, 30s 20s lots of lots of 20s and teens um, I even caught my 73 from the flats here on the lake so don't let anyone tell you that you can't catch big fish from shore you definitely do not need a boat to catch good fish, but it helps. 
I think that's basically it. Uh, it's not that complicated. That history button's key. Um, if your area gives you detailed information on water lake levels and especially timeline water lake uh, water depth levels, that's key. Uh, if not, you just got to go to the lake a ton and figure out what depths look like what. And when you're looking at that map, you know exactly about what lake percentage you know that portion of the shore is showing, and eventually you just figure it out. Time on the water is key. Um, this might this video might help you out a little bit, get you started, get you in the right direction, but it's not going to get you on fish unless you're out there fishing for them consistently, and learning and uh, adjusting based on the way the fish are. Even when you think you got them dialed in, you don't have them dialed in. Fish will change on you, and then you're lost for another four months until you figure them out again. So, uh, yeah, if you find this useful, please like my video. Uh, if you really want to see more how-tos and beginners fishing videos for flatheads, I know flatheads are one of the harder fish to, to get started with because it takes dozens and dozens of hours to catch one fish half the time. So if you guys find this useful, let me know down below. If you want to see something different, let me know down below also in the comments section. Tell me what you want to see. I'll make a video that you guys want. Uh, and if you uh, look at some of my other videos, you think this channel's for you, please subscribe. It'll help me a lot. Thank you. See you guys later.